Oh. Oh. Look what I got. Oh. That's why you check the socks. So we're back once again for the, I don't even know how many time, the $1,200 storage unit. There's so many boxes still in the back. And you know what? I'm not giving up faith. I still believe it's in there somewhere. And until we check every little box, I still think it's there. Let's get in there. Let's start with something we've never seen in this unit before. Fishing equipment. So we have all these fishing poles here, and I got two more things of lures here. Here, I'll say it right for you guys now. I've said lures enough. Lures in here, a few more. Close, okay, doesn't want to close. And then we got this one here. But boom another whole set of who knows how many. What do you think this is? 60, 70 lures again total? Yeah. Right there, added to our collection of probably two to 3,000 at this point. Let's try to pull out some of these fishing poles and see what we got. Because I know nothing about brands let's see this one oop, this one's brand new look it still has the tag on it it's a fiji or fuji fenwick that says fenwick this says fuji <laughs> um that one i don't know if it's a good brand or not hopefully you guys know yeah. it's freaking long though look at that uh, all right that one let's try to pull out some of these ones on the ground because i'm scared i'm going to accidentally step on them Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Well, the reels are going to all get tangled. You're going to get irritated. <laughs> it's going to happen. 100% going to happen. Here's There's two a little more. What? Is that a little one or one that's just missing the top part? Um, it looks like it's missing the top part. Okay. But this one's got a Gander Mountain reel on it. All right. And the pole is a, what does that say? Lunker stick. A Fenwick. Lunker stick. Fenwick, Fenwick lunker stick. All right. This one's got a... I don't see a thing on the reel. Oh, there it is, something. Can you tell what that says? Um, President LP. That. And here's the poll information. It's hard to keep these still. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is that, three fishing poles already? And there's still a lot more in the unit. I really wanna get these ones off the ground if they would stop tangling. Stop it, stop it. Okay. So, this one is, uh, <laughs> Is what does that say? The Berkeley. Berkeley. All right. So you go to the lot, and then this one is. This one doesn't have a reel on it. It's Berkeley, it's Berkeley again. again. So I know we found some vintage poles before. They don't have lures. Apparently, they just used to rip them right out the water like that. All right. Gosh, there's so many. Can you see this, or is it too dark? I mean, I mean there's dark, probably yeah. <laughs> 20 more. Oh my God, lures right here. What? Oh, this is a BB gun. My heart rate just went so high. That looks real, doesn't it? Yeah, stop pointing at the camera. Why? <laughs> it's like a jewelry box there too, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's try to pull out a few more of these poles. Uh, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take them all out, then let's do a head count on them. So we counted them all up. There's 31 total fishing poles in here. And a lot of them, as you can see, none of them, thank God, don't have line <laughs> through them and they're not all tangled with hooks. But they're all, a lot of them are pretty much brand new. Like there's some with tags on them. There's some in plastic. They're just super huge one over here. Like what is this, like deep sea or something? I don't know. What's it say, Terminator graphite? <laughs> it's gotta be like a deep sea fishing. But I mean, look at this. This has its tag on it, tags down there. 31 fishing poles and I guarantee based on everything else we found they're probably of good quality too So we got the dresser to the front because remember the last dresser, you know coins gold and things like that stuff I like so I already showed you this which already trolled me. Ha ha ha. Good job dresser But check this out Ooh, it's a watch Julius Jurgensen Distinguished watches since 1740 Wow, does it have a tag on it? Looks like the tag. The bottom says Jorgensen steel back. I don't know. It doesn't say anything else beyond that. Genuine leather. It looks old though. Especially in this box. Let's see if the tag gives us any more hints. Winner of 32. It cost 115 bucks back in whenever they bought it. Wow. That could be worth some money for sure. Let's leave this up here. We got glasses. I'm not even going to open this because that and this is a little pocket dictionary let's go into the drawer Ooh. so look at the first thing i see Ooh, it's kind of beat up but it says the bone collector i wonder if that means the handle's made of bone you see that yeah 
That's pretty cool. Now let's pull this drawer out a little bit. Uh, don't go down. What's this? Glasses? It's sticky notes. There's a watch in the back. I see it. Come here. This is a Timex. Nothing special. Let's see. Is there anything in this one? There's some glasses. Joy. Let's see. See a little lure. A lot of random stuff in here. This looks like it's going to be interesting. If the rest of the drawers look like this, we're in for a good day or an interesting day. I'm not seeing much else though. Look at that. That looks like it could be um, silver and turquoise, but it's crushed. Look at the ring. Maybe somebody would want to scrap it if it's silver. I don't know. That's weird. Look at these little, like, there's a quarter and a nickel. Oh, look. See, I think there's more coins in this unit somewhere. There's a dime. It looks like an older dime. Is it a mercury? No, it's just really dirty. Oh, it's a mercury dime. But it's just a really dirty one. Let's see, anything else in here? What's that? Leatherman, just cutters or something. Uh, I don't think there's anything else too valuable in this. Oh, there might be. Here's a little bracelet, but it just looks like it's rubber, stainless steel. Nothing good there. Oh, look. Ben Franklin half dollar from 1951. That's silver. Boom. I'll put the coins up here. Let's see, is this another Indian head penny? No, just a regular penny. Oh, look what I see though. There's, that's a big bullet, man. It's a 45. That's nice. Oh, look at this. Is this a throwing knife? Doesn't it look like a throwing knife? Yeah. Whoosh, that's pretty cool. Here's another necklace in this drawer. Doesn't say anything, though. So probably just costume drawer, but we acid test it at home. All right, that's one drawer down. There's another hollow point. Or oh, no, it's just a flat tip. Looks like another 45 Magnum. That means it's going to be in here, right? Right. So, nice little haul from one drawer, I'll say so. Let's go to this one. Ooh, this is another grip, isn't it? It looks like a grip. Yeah. Um, is this some um, 22 ammo? Is it in there? Feels like it's in there. Oh, yes it is. Nice little box of 22s. <laughs> Not gonna complain. Who remembers gun people like a few years ago when that was like finding gold and you had to like go to Dick's Sporting Good like an hour or two before they opened wait in line just to find 22 ammo? That was bad. Here's some more shots in here. Yeah, some of these are big bullets, man. Look at the size of that. There's a lot of little thick all ammo. Look at this. Shotgun shell. Some more bullets. Is that a little four back in the back? Whoa. That looks deadly. Oh, I hate to see that coming on my face. Then a bunch of ammo back there. So we'll take it. Ammo's like cash right now. Ooh, let's see what's in here. First right here. Radio frequency detector, I'm guessing. Uh, it's like a police scanner type thing, and it's in there. It looks like it's missing something now, but that's kind of cool. Oh, empty knife box. Uh, is this an MMA glove? It is, look. Oh, super An unbranded, <laughs> unbranded MMA glove. All right. What else do we have back here? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's empty. No. I see a penny. There's an army hat. Sign baseball. Who is it? Oh, yes, it is. And it's got the MLB sticker on it. So, I mean, this means it came directly from the MLB site. Let's see if we can figure out who it's signed. They never opened it. Look at this. Hmm. We got to figure out who that's signed by because it's got yeah. the sticker right there. That could be bank. I mean, I might have to open it just to pull that paper out and have an idea who it is. But that's freaking crazy. What's this? Glasses? Yeah. Some bell glasses. Hmm, what else do we see? Watch. Another watch. That. I don't really know what that one is. Um, anything else interesting in here? We'll definitely go through. There's the other glove. Go through these in more detail once we get it home. Um, let's see. Like, there's change galore in here. Look at this. This is like an old school phone. <laughs> Jeez. There's quarters in there. Is that a dog tag? This army. No. I don't know what that is. It's like a designer thing. Well, what's this? This is just a hook. But I'm liking this dresser. This, oh. That's why you check the socks. Before we take that out of here, guys, we have less than five days left in December. Please leave this video a like. We need to hit our goal and we're this close. Five days left. And of course, if you're new, make sure you subscribe because we put out videos like this every single day. 
let's get back into it. What is in the sock? Oh, oh my God! You know what that is? Hmm. It was a cult grip. Can you see that? It says cult. So that's kind of crazy. Let's set this out here. Oh, if we could find that, that would be amazing. There's something else in here too, though. Get out. What's in the sock? Another one? Is that Colt too? This one doesn't say, but another wood grip. Is there any more socks in here? Oh, you got another sock somewhere, sir? Another sock, another sock? No. Dang it, well, we saw a lot more drawers to go out there. This is like the most interesting thing I've pulled out in a while. Ooh, oh, eagle grip, just for a desert eagle. Is that what that means? Look at that, no. Colt again, another Colt grip. I'm wondering if the grips are worth money because I know the guns are crazy expensive. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, ooh, an old army knife, does it twist off? It does, there's a compass on the top again. These are nice, let's see if I can get the top off, make sure there's nothing hidden in there, like a Colt. <laughs> they yeah. put it in the handle. <laughs> it's like a foldable one. Just your typical matches and stuff like that. So these are cool. These always sell great for us, so I'll never complain about these little suckers. Put it back in its thingy. What else do we got going on? Not sure. I'm gonna show you guys a telescope. Another eagle bird. Oh box. my god. These more look, these are all mercury down. Holy crap, it's full of them. Look. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mercury dimes right there. Eleven. Here's another one. Oh, yes. Look at that. 1888. Look at that beauty. One dollar coin. I'm going to put this right up here with that. Where's their other eagle grip? Was it this one? Yeah. Same thing. Another Colt grip. I wonder if this one fishing lure is worth some money here. Look at that. Big. Is that a price tag on the front? I mean, it looks like an old price tag, but. Yeah, back then it's $4.99, but you know how you can tell it's old? Okay. It doesn't have a barcode. There's no barcode on the box anywhere. So you can tell it's an older lure. <laughs> lure. <laughs> lure. Uh, a couple of like necklace loops. Let's make sure we keep looking around good because this is like a gold mine right here. This, I bet you, was holding this. Does this fit right in there? I have a feeling it will. Haha. <laughs> Fits right there. So that's for that. Um, oh, look. That's a BB gun. Still. Magazine. Oh, look. You know what this is? This is to a drawer? I don't know. It looked like one of those things, like you guys that know black powder guns, where you put the powder in, you squeeze it. That's what I thought it was going to be. Oh. Look what I got. There you know what sucks? What? CO2. Oh, that <sighs> looks so real. It feels, this is metal. That's... Dang it. Uh, you know what? I wonder if this goes to this. No, it takes CO2 yeah, cartridge. CO2. So. Weird. The, the green bag. Ooh, that's a silver. You see that? Yeah. Before we open that, there's another reel. What's that one? GSX titanium. Quantum. There's another one. Oh, it's empty. I wonder if this is all more silver coins. Like, I wonder if... This originally held those mercury dimes, and this could be more silver coins. Sorry, I just want to look around. There's another mercury dime right there. Oh, these. Yep. Those are those are bring back memories. Oh my God! Look back here. What are mercury dimes? They're silver. They're old dimes. Okay. But look. There's a five more. If I remember correctly, I could be off. It's been a while since I found these. I think they're like a buck a piece or so. It's just scrap silver. <laughs> Some of them could be valuable though. All right, let's see what's in here. It's got me interested. Come on. Whoa. That's heavy at that silver. 925 on the, right there. All right, there's another one in here. This might be a bracelet and necklace set. And they're both stamped 925. If this is silver, that's some weight in silver. I mean, that's not, this is a pretty heavy necklace right here. So I'm just gonna set this up here with everything else. That, gosh, it feels so right. I've never felt a metal BB gun before. All right, so that. Woohoo! <laughs> Next. Next like drawer. It. Oh, look. So we got a nice digital camera. The battery thing's a little broken, but does it cut on? No. Might just need new batteries, though. It might be broken. I don't know. I see bullet. See you. 
Ooh, look what I see. What do you think's in there? Mm -hmm. Nothing, but I wonder if this thing itself, if this could be sterling. We'll mm -hmm. test it. Um, let's see. Just try to move stuff around, make sure I can look at everything. Oh, look at that. Is that what you've seen? Yeah. How pretty. Come on. Hey, look, Microsoft Office for 2007. I mean, it never changes, so it's still good. Very slight updates. This is, I don't even know, some metal thing. Another glasses container. Nothing. Come on, something good, something good. There's another fishing lure in the back. With, ah, that one's got a barcode on it, but still. Um, I'm seeing a lot of paper in this one. Not seeing much. A lot, bunch of losing lottery ticket and a bunch of like these little BB things. Look. Or um, air, air gun, whatever you call it, air rifle. All right, next. Oh, do we actually have one of clothes? No clothes, come on, there's something hidden in here somewhere, I know it. There has to be, there has to be. I mean, there's some new army pants or shirt, brand new with tags on it. So that's something. There's another one it looks like. Yeah, two army shirts in there, so that's something. Let's keep going down. Two more drawers. Oh, oh. That's a nice holster. Please be in here, please. What is this? That looks old. Just paperwork. And paperwork. Got some shirts. A lot of these shirts have tags on them though. Like literally, a lot of them are brand new. Weird. Let's move it all over, what's that? HP DVR watch? Huh. Not in, or it is in there. Look at that. That's kind of cool too. Whoa. Why are these in a, no. Well, they're state quarters. They're not even like, you know what I mean? They're not silver. Well, they're all shiny, so I wonder why they kept them in there. Maybe it was a, something somebody would buy to fill out one of the state sets. Why is there pennies in the back? I don't know. Is this one of the people that stored like the pre? Now these are all from the 2000s too. I don't know why they're in here. That's kind of strange. But the rest of it looks like paperwork. We'll get them change out later. Ugh, last drawer. Something good, come on. Ooh, it looks interesting, all right, what is that? WR Case and Sons Collector Series. Ooh, look at that. National Knife Museum. One of 2,500 made from 1984. That's pretty cool. We got this fishing lure, price tag on it and stuff, nothing old. What are these? These look like the capture reels. And they're all, they look like they're all Ambassador 5500C. So everyone's told me it's a good reel. Let's see what else we got in here. What's that? Nothing. Ooh, look at this. Oh, there was another silver bag. Nothing in it though. Oh, that's sexy. That was the best word I could think of to describe mm -hmm. it. That's really nice. Mm. What's that? An airbrush? Looks like an airbrush. Might be an airbrush, yeah. That's my guess. Oh, this is heavy. What is that? What is this? Is this a tape measure? Oh, it opens. Oh, it's a compass. Check that out, look. That's an old compass. No telling how old that thing is. Did you get a good shot of it? Yeah. It just says India on it. It doesn't have a date or anything anywhere. That's pretty interesting though. That Let could be worth a lot here. of money. Open it. Gotcha. I want to make sure there's no glare when I showed you guys, but that's a better look at it. That's See the cool. camera. Hi, say hi to yourself, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Here. That's cool. Because I don't know what. No telling what that could be worth right there. Let's just go ahead and set it aside. Look what I see. Come out. Oh, yeah. Hey, beautiful. Look at that handle. That's so nice. Can you see it well? Hmm. Super nice knife right there. Let's put them away. What's this one? Oh, nice. That's a ni another new pocket knife. I'm going to take it out of this plastic so we can get a good look at it. Eh, get out. Get out. Get, oh my gosh, it's double wrapped. Get out. Okay, here it is. It looks weird. It does, it's 
Definitely weird feeling. This doesn't feel like a normal knife. Show the side. Do they make sterling knives? <laughs> it's probably a far stretch, but I don't think so because silver's soft. Is this another one? There's something in there, all right. Let's see. This is definitely not empty. This is. Oh, whoa. Look at that. That is sick. Look at that handle. Mm -hmm. You know what I thought it was gonna be at first when huh. I pulled it out? Like one of those old school pocket pistols, you know, like the little no, pepper yeah. box type things. They just pull out and blow somebody away. I was like, no way, it's about to be that. Um, that lure. Oh, you'll never guess. More gummy fishy lures. Look at this. It's like an old newspaper article and a gun. You see that? Yeah. Fine hmm. guns. Where are they? Here's another one. This is a, looks like an old multi-tool. It has like a pick it looks like on this side. And then a knife on this side. Definitely cool. Oh, we're getting towards the back. Let's see what this is. Another airbrush. Same thing as that one? Yeah, same thing. Two airbrushes for some reason. And then lastly, this thing right here is empty. But you know what? <laughs> I like that dresser. So we're packing up stuff from the dresser and look what I totally missed. A legitimate <laughs> steel ninja star. Like this is not plastic. <laughs> I want to throw this at something so bad, but I'm like, <laughs> if I throw it at one of those boxes, 100% it's going to be like a vintage $2,000 Harley jacket. It's going to go right through or something like that. So, oh wait, you don't want it, but it's so sharp. Like I guarantee you I could put this halfway through that box with one throw. Oh, it's so nice. Went to the back, grabbed another box. Let's see what it is. Ooh, what is this stuff? What, what, what is this? Are these glasses? Yeah, it looks like glasses. It looks like cases in there. Huh, they look old though. So let's see, three boxes of glasses I'm guessing. Yeah, all glasses. What's in this little Christmas tin down here? What do you think that is? Is it actually bag balm? <laughs> the heck's bag balm? Oh. Ew, that. What is that? I don't want to know. It looks nasty. Look at this. this. Is a Bible or medical aid encyclopedia? Hmm. I wonder how old it is. It's like one of those movies where you open it up, blow the dust off. <laughs> this is the Varsity Company. That doesn't help me with age. 1972. So not as old as I was hoping, but it's kind of cool. Other than that, I think that's all it's in here, isn't it? Some pills. Some little cups and nothing else too interesting. I did not think the dresser was gonna be that interesting. Look how many more boxes are still back here. There's still like 20 plus boxes. That boom boom is still somewhere in this unit. I know it. Now we're home, I've done a little bit of research and let me tell you the jackpot we might not have thought of could be these grips. So let me show you some of these again. Maybe some of you guys can help us out. Show them up close. Like look at that, that Colt pin on that. Can you see it now? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> the cold grips, some of them I've seen selling for like $500. So I just don't know what is what. Obviously like the old, old ones like for the Python are the ones that are more sought after. This looks like another one again, it says cold. You're not gonna be able to see it because of the plastic. But those could be an insane jackpot right there on the grips. And then of course we have how many knives now? One, two, about six or seven knives. There's another pair of grips. We ended up finding another Morgan dollar in there. And there's the Ben Franklin that's also silver. And then right here, all the Mercury Dimes that are also silver. I wanted to put all these up close too to see if anyone could recognize if these are worth anything. Because I know the Ambassador we uh, Reels, let's say Wheels, Reels themselves are worth something. But I wasn't sure about the caps it looks like on them. And then the weirdest thing that I cannot find any information on is this freaking compass. I was trying to Google stuff. But look at this. Now that we're in the light, you see how it says this natural sign India? Yeah. But... There's no dates anywhere. There's no manufacturer marks or anything. I have no idea what this is. This could be off some ancient explorer ship for all I know. I have no idea what this is. So it's definitely an interesting thing. And I got one more cool thing to show you too. So do you remember the very first video of this unit? We found a locked briefcase and I said, we're gonna get into it. And then I completely forgot and nobody said anything in the comments surprised me. <laughs> we found that briefcase again in the garage, busted it open and guess what was inside of it? This super nice laptop. It had Windows 8 on it, but we just went ahead and factory restored it, put Windows 10 on it. But look at the specs on this. 
8 gigabytes of RAM, i7 processor. It's a pretty nice laptop and now it's completely restored um, with Windows 10 on it. So that's money too. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up. Don't forget to come back tomorrow because it's going to be even better.